number three is actually Troy Aikman. He had, I mean, he still had a great career, no doubt about it. He did win three Super Bowls, but he retired at 34 due to the fact that he had 10 concussions in 12 years. Uh, when he did retire at 34, he still had an arm. He could still run. I mean, obviously, he wasn't as mobile as he once was, but he still had a cannon for an arm. And I think had he stayed healthy, he could have won at least a number, another one or two Super Bowls. Oh, sure. I mean, Elway won one when he was 39. Why not? Or 38, I mean. All right. My number two is Sterling Sharp. He was the man. Well Being a Bucks fan back in the day, I did not enjoy seeing him run up and down the field on us. But um, he went all pro five times in 89, 90, 92, 93, and 94. Um, and then at the end of that 94 season, he uh, suffered a neck injury against the Bucks. I was at that game. It was bad. Yeah. And um, he was forced to retire. And um, the next season... Well, two seasons later was when those same Packers went up against the Broncos in the Super Bowl, and the Broncos won where his brother won his first Super Bowl ring and gave it to him. Dude, when, when Shannon said that thing about his brother, how, he would, how Shannon was the second best player in his own house. Yeah. I don't care how many times I watch it. Every time I watch it, I literally get choked up. And I'm just like, is anyone around? Because I'm about to cry. Yeah. I mean, just watching that is just... And then and not to go off topic, but Dion's speech, I mean... Yeah. They're, they're, this was probably like the year of speeches at the Hall of Fame. Marshall Fox's speech was so long. Yeah, I, I didn't and listen to him. Talked he, about himself for 45 minutes. He upset me. Jesus. Right. My, we're number two, right? Yep. My number two, Mr. Ken Griffey. Oh, yes. J- junior himself. He, I mean, again, this is another guy who had a long career, but was not what it could have been. It could have been immaculate. He, I mean, what could have been is just how I describe it. Oh, yeah. And He's still going to the Hall of Fame. He had a 248 batting average, 630 home runs, 2,700 hits. 1800 RBI. I mean, had he not been injured for literally the last nine years of his career, he could have been. He would have the home run record. Screw Barry Bonds. Are you kidding me? He probably would have. I would say he would have hit 800. Oh, at by, least. By far. <laughs> at least. Sweetest swing in the game, but man, playing center field like that, he and, uh, you know, had, put, his, put his body on the line. Not that like, I would have wanted him to, but if he would have went to a team like the Red Sox or Yankees that had that short. Right field porch. Oh, oh. He could have made Reds, a uh, Red Sox. Are you kidding me? He could have made a killing there. The, Even Yankee Stadium. I mean that. that yeah. I mean the fence isn't two feet high. It's not horsey door wall, but you know horsey door. <laughs> yes, <laughs> horsey door has been worked into the show. I love it. <laughs> All right, number one. Where number one is Terrell Davis. TD. Mr. Mile High. Salute himself. Um, on my 1996 fantasy football team. Through his four, first four seasons, he rushed for 6,413 yards. And the only two modern-day, among the 24 modern-day Hall of Fame running backs to get that many yards were Earl Campbell, Eric Dickerson. It's pretty good company. Kind of good company. And of all of the um, running backs in the Hall of Fame in their first four seasons, Nobody had as many touchdowns as TD with, he had 56. And, uh, yeah, I mean, between, I mean, the dude played the Super Bowl with a migraine. It's pretty solid. And it, it was just a shame because the rest of his career was just, he, he blew that knee, he blew that knee out. Oh, and yeah. that was, that was the end. All right. My number one is uh, Bo Jackson. Bono's football, Bono's everything. Mm, Bono's not uh, how to stay healthy. He did suffer a devastating hip injury in a NFL playoff game. He developed a vascular mm, something that I can't say because I'm not a doctor. Right. Uh, but it's a, di- a disease that restricts blood flow to the bone. Uh, eventually had to have the hip replaced. He would never play football again, but he did return to baseball two years later. One comeback player of the year, but would have to retire at the end of that season. 
That's sad, so, man. He really was is. such an athlete. <laughs> he, he, he really <laughs> he was, was. Stupid. It was dumb how just stupidly athletic that dude was. And it, you know, it, yeah. I mean, there's not many people that played baseball and football. I can think of three: him, Deion Sanders, and Brian Jordan. Yeah, but they didn't play running back. No, they no, they did not. Exactly. Yeah, he was he was, was a man a child. Battering ram. Um, our top five topic for next week is going to be the best brother combinations in sports, uh, due to the Shannon Sharp and Sterling Sharp gimmick. So, I'm thinking there's boons. We have boons. Let, let, let's not talk about it now. Uh, prices. Oh, sh- what? Sh- sh- whatever. But we will be uh, next week's topic again is uh, berries. Uh, shut up, brothers. <laughs> uh, in sports, and don't forget to go to oceanpromotion.net. Let the ex- experts in promotional product advertising get your business in motion. If you're looking for T-shirts, pens, or award recognition, get your message or logo branded today with oceanpromotion.net. Remember, put your business in motion with Ocean Promotion.